There is one more thing I want to add to all the slides, and that is our company logo. If the slide master isn't selected in the pane on the left, go ahead and select it. Since we want to insert our company logo, which is a picture, we'll just need to select the Insert tab and click the Picture command in the Illustrations group. The Insert Picture dialog box appears, and we just need to locate the picture file on our computer. Once you do, just select it, and then click Insert. The picture will appear on the slide, and you can just drag and drop it to the location you wish. I want it in the lower right corner of every slide. Now, if we want to see our actual slides, we can view them in Slide Show View, or we can return to Normal View. If you are already on the Slide Master tab, you can just click the Close the Master View command to return to Normal View. If this tab isn't active, you can just click the Normal View command at the bottom of the window. Now you can see that the logo appears on each slide. So now that you know how to change all the slides using the Slide Master, what if you only want to change elements on a specific layout? For example, what if I want to change the font's color and formatting on the slides with the section header layout? We'll go back to the Slide Master view by selecting the View tab and clicking the Slide Master command. In the pane on the left, we'll select the section header layout and then select the text you want to modify on the slide. To change the font's formatting, I'll need to select the Home tab. From here, I can use the Fonts Color command to change the color and click the Text Shadow command to add a shadow to the text on the slides that use the section header layout. Once you've made all the formatting changes, just select Normal View to close the Master View and see that the two slides with the section heading layout, slides 3 and 8, both have the new formatting. You can also insert a shape. For example, I want to add a solid accent line to the slides that use the two content layout. To do this, we'll just go back to our Slide Master view and select the two content layouts in the pane. You can see that this layout is used for slides 4 and 5, so my line will appear on these two slides. I want to insert a line, which is a shape, so I'll select the Insert tab and then click the Shape command. From the menu, I'll select this simple line and my cursor turns to a crosshair. Now just click and drag to insert to the line where you wish on the slide. Release the button when the line is the desired length. Just a little tip. Sometimes it is difficult to make a straight line. If you press and hold the Shift key while you insert the line, it will be straight. Okay, now we have inserted the shape. If you want to format it, just make sure it is selected and then select the Format tab to access the drawing tools. From here, you can change the line weight and color using the Shape Outline command. You can even make it a dashed line. We'll select Normal View, and now we can see the new accents line on the slides. Hmm, I think I'll add a few more lines under these other titles. There are many other things you can do using the commands on the Slide Master tab, 
but being able to make changes to the existing slide master is a key task. You may never have a reason to use a slide master, but it is important for you to know that you can modify an existing theme if there is something you want to change. Practice making these types of changes to the slide master and then use these skills to make other changes such as modifying the bullets or inserting a footer on all the slides. As you practice, you'll see that the slide master can allow you to customize your slides and save time.